Eurobirdwatch is a Europe-wide event by BirdLife International held since 1993, also the year that the GeoNHS was initiated, and they have been organizing that event every year on the rock since. There were three main activities on the day. This year, for example, we had three main events to, to celebrate uh, Eurobirdwatch. That's been going on for about 30 years now. Uh, we had... Um, we had Harding's Observatory, where you could go down and watch seabirds. Not only seabirds, but you could watch, the, for example, feeding of uh, dolphins uh, and uh, tuna fish, uh, uh, local and mig migratory seabirds. Then we had an event down at Just Gate, which involved mainly songbirds. And you can see the, our, our, our ringers at work, ringing birds. And also we had, the third one was here at Patobi, uh, Raptor Rehabilitation and uh, Birds of Prey. It was well attended and we are really quite, quite happy with the, uh, with the turnout. Naturally, people are curious about this kind of work, not just the children. In fact, there have been many instances over the years, and indeed this summer alone, where members of the community have called the GONHS for assistance when they've come across a downed bird or a bird in distress in general. Within each one of these is a story, and usually a happy ending. You find that many people are very interested in the work we do. Because you've been as I said before, uh, being such a small community, the word goes around. And for example, this spring we had quite a large numbers of birds of prey being downed by local nesting herring gulls. Yeah, sorry, yellow-legged gulls, and by local nesting parent falcons. And people tend to want to know what's going on. People tend to want to know what's happening to those birds that are being rescued and what is the future. Oh, and again, an interesting aspect is that most of those birds, or some of those birds, have been fitted with the uh, GPS transmitters and released from here. They have traveled uh, over, over the Straits into Africa and they've arrived in places like Gambia and Senegal. So, I mean, it's quite, quite interesting and the uh, information that we're getting back on those birds is, I mean, fascinating. And people tend to love that, tend to know, for example, people that have rescued the bird and have handed in a bird, they want to know the story of that bird, what happened to that bird. So they come here, they ask me, what happened to the bird that we released, and what happened to the... And they are informed by us, and they are quite interested in, in the work we do. The overall aim of Euro Bird Watch is to raise awareness of the needs of migratory birds at breeding areas, flyways and stopovers, and in their wintering grounds in the Mediterranean and Africa. The GONHS says anyone interested in getting involved with them who has any questions can contact them directly or visit the Tovey Cottage.